Hey guys, Ricardo and welcome to another Block Tech Tips. So guys, as you can see here, this is my Samsung Galaxy S8 and I'll be looking at the Android 8.0 or Android Oreo update for um, this device. And of course, this also applies to the S8 Plus as well. And I'm sure the Note 8 um, Android 8.0 update will be soon out. All right. So guys, if you have been watching over the last um, few days, we have also did the first impressions of the official Oreo update showing you some of the new features. So today is my official review, just running through what are the improvements and how overall the entire um, device performs. So let's get straight into this official um, review or this review. All right. So first of all, guys, talking about um, Android 8.0 Oreo, which we are running now. All right, so Oreo, which as you can see here, running in Samsung Experience 9.0, is the latest update, and of course, it brings a lot of stuff to the table, such as improvements below the surface. And of course, just like Oreo, which is a sandwich cookie with some cream in the middle, this is basically a update that's based on um, improvement that Samsung, along with um, Android, has deemed appropriate for the um, this version of the device, along with, of course, and simple additions based on user experience and feedback and of course we talked about some of the cool things i like um, if you're coming from android 7.0 over to um, 8.0 there are few differences that you'll notice however does not mean that although there are just a few doesn't mean that they are minor in any way and what samsung has done is to tweak the interface and made things that were already good even better all right so, for example, there are a lot of little additions such as tweaks in pictures and so on, which makes the experience quite um, nice. And, of course, I like, like the badges. And, of course, you'll notice whenever you have a notification. All right. As you can see, here, I have two notifications, one from um, YouTube creators and the other a comment. All right. And, of course, if I go down here in the notification tray, you can actually see the notification just the same. And if I long press on the icon there you can see the notifications i can clear it from here or i can go up into the area above here and actually clear the notification which will be cleared all right so i'm just going to clear that and of course if you come down here you notice know, it's gone all right which is a cool addition to the um, android 8.0 all right. If, of course, you're coming from an older version, such as Android 6.0, you'll notice more improvements, right? So is it worth updating? So far, I would say yes, because what's happening here is that you're getting a bunch of tweaks that actually make things way more um, fun. Text input has improved as well. As you can see here, we have a bunch of new inputs, and we can access settings, we can record stuff, we can go to the clipboard, and a number of cool little features along with your stickers, as we showed you earlier. And so on which is new stickers we have a bunch of new um, um, emojis and a bunch of stuff that actually makes the whole experience fun so you can have cool stickers you can send to friends and so on which basically is adding more icing on the cake as it relates to the interface and so on right and of course guys the whole thing bring is brought together in one nice package one of the things i like also is the battery management um, already the battery was good from my previous version but as soon as I came over to this version I noticed that the system was insistent on actually managing background apps so as soon as apps were open and running as soon as they were not needed the system would kick in and actually kill background apps to actually preserve battery life what's happening here is that you I got just that much further out of my battery but of course if um, you won't see a major major improvement but of course things have improved in the battery department all right so it's more aggressive towards apps that might try to drain battery and always keeps or they basically is keeping track of your battery usage and killing any background apps that will actually cause drainage all right so if we go in here i'm going to device uh, maintenance device maintenance we go on to battery usage as you see right now i'm at 50 percent battery can actually use battery usage and as you saw see here um, this device has been on for 21 hours almost the entire day 57 minutes it wasn't being used aggressively if you're new to the device you may you realize that your battery usage is higher but of course I'm used to the device by now so I don't play around I just come in do some stuff and I'm out right and of course for regular usage I can get something like four to five continuous hours of usage on the battery as you can see here it says I have 13 hours and 45 minutes left and 50% battery and you can see my usage is gradual over time which is good. 
for those who like um, benchmarks, as you see, I have Geekbench. I also have one, two, two, but let's just stick to the Geek, Geekbench. And as you can see here, this is the specifications of my device. You can see I can run the CPU benchmark. It takes a while and also uses a bit of battery. But of course, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to simply show you the results from earlier. And of course, if I go into my gallery, you'll see my results. You can actually pause, check this out. And while we're here, you can also notice the new features down here. That's quick access for you to delete, crop your pictures, mess with the color grading, add features, edit, and so on. And of course, there's the usual menu up here that gives the usual set of features, such as set, pin, and so on, to set your um, pictures as you'd like them. Overall, guys, the Android 8.0 Oreo update has been a great update. It has had many tweaks that I like to the interface. It also had a lot of behind the scenes um, customizations and tweaks that actually makes using your device that much more fun. And of course, if you're on Android 7.0 or even 6.0, I would advise you to update as you'll have in the latest and greatest version of Android right at your fingertips. And of course, I'm sure most of you are saying by now, I'm still waiting for the update, but of course, my device has not gotten the update push to it as yet number one please remember that the update itself is over a gig and of course what you gotta do is you gotta check for updates so you gotta go into settings if you do not have it as yet and of course you gotta hit on um, software update and your device will actually check so you say download updates manually or you can check manually and of course you can turn on the feature that says um, download updates automatically but of course, sometimes the update will be there. So it's smart to every now and then, then come in and actually go ahead and hit manually download updates and check for updates. If you do not do that, sometimes the update can be there for days and you will not get the notification. As you can see, I'm already updated. I have all the latest updates, all right? So that's just a quick tip for those who are wondering why haven't I gotten my version of um, Android or pushed to my phone. Also, it depends on your region. So for example, my device is actually um, from the UAE. It's also unlocked and that's the United Arab Emirates. And of course, for some reason, they seem to have gotten the update already. So for others, I advise that you wait, especially throughout this month, keep checking on a daily basis and you should get the update soon enough. And of course, just like me, in a very short time, you should be on Android Oreo and enjoying the new features and exploring the um, changes. If you want more details on the exact changes that's taking place, please check out my other video, which I'll link to on screen somewhere around here. Or at the end of the video, you can actually check out the annotations and I'll link to the video. Alright guys, I got it from Blog Tech Tips. Coming to you with another set of cool tips showing you what has changed, what I think so far about the overall feel and look of Android Oreo, which is basically just icing on the cake from Android 7.0 to add some cool new tweaks that we all love. Alright guys, we've got the same bye until next time. Bye.